Jared Poland, Frono's Photo. Dot com here with a 30 for 30 Lightroom quick tip video brought to you by the fine people over at Adobe. If you want to follow along, you can go to fronosphoto.com slash LR3030. You can download a free trial of Lightroom so that you can play along with all of the videos that we're making. And let's get into it. Here's a quick tip for renaming your files inside of Lightroom. So we take a look at Lightroom here and I see no file names. I see one, two, three, four, five. I don't want that. So a quick tip for this is going to view and then we're gonna go into view options and there's a whole bunch of stuff that pops up but right here under compact cell extras, I wanna get rid of index number and I wanna add top label so that I can see my original file name. So boom, done. Top label, DCM, most cameras are gonna have names that are, are pre-done. You may import it and have different file numbers. It all depends on what you have here, but I wanna rename everything. So I'm gonna hit Command A in this case to select everything, and I forget where renaming is. I know the quick key, but I wanna help you guys figure this out. So under help, let's type in renaming. Oop, rename, there it is, rename photos. And you see this in the help dialog? It highlights something, it told me it was under library, and then I hit rename photos. So that pops this up, I'm gonna go ahead and do this, and hit edit, and I'm getting rid of all this. The way I like to rename is I like to put in the date, underscore, and then I put in what it was that I was shooting, underscore, 001, or if it's a thousand images or more, 0001. It just depends on how many images you have. I like to leave it set to uh, basically to a thousand or 999. So what this is, let's go with a date. We'll go with today, 2016, and it's March, so 03, and it's the 20th. I like to do it that way, year. Then I do year, month, day, underscore. We'll call it GC for Grand Canyon in this case and I'll put in another underscore, and then we've got sequence. Do you see how you can do one, and it will do one, two, three, four, and follow, and so on and so forth. I like to do um, this. I like to do up to a thousand. Now there's a time where you would go over that, and that's if you were doing weddings and you have two, three, four thousand photos, and you wanna rename them all in order, you could do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the insert here, and then this is what you're going to see added up. It's gonna keep the beginning date, it's gonna keep it GC, it's gonna keep the underscore, and then it's go with the sequence and I hit done. You can see an example of how it's gonna show up right there to check it. You hit okay, and bam, just like that, your file name shows up right here. The new file name, and that's the first one, followed by the second one. Then you can see the third one, so on and so forth, and that is a quick tip for renaming your photos inside of Lightroom. Pretty simple, but it's one of those things that when you're not sure how to do it, you need a video just like this. But if you wanna check out the rest of the 30 for 30 videos, you can go to fronosphoto.com slash LR3030. You can also get a link to a free trial of Lightroom so you can play along with all of the files that we supply you. And that is where we're gonna leave this quick tip, Jared Poland, fronosphoto.com. See ya.